Is anybody out there, their daughters are ashamed to be in a pick with them? Like my daughter called me so many times. She called me about 10 times last night when I posted a pic with me and my daughter. And, um, dad, could you take that down? Dad, could you take it down? Dad, could you take it down? I'm like, yo, bro, like, what's up? Like, I thought you f***ed me. Like, you know, it's, it's, you know, these kids that get, you know, I went today, I went to, uh, you know, it's a sweet 16. In the Cartagena house, it's a different type of sweet 16s like that. I don't know how to explain it to you. So when I walk in, and so the, the problem I had that Rich, Uncle Rich, I'm a sucker for olives, big off the tree. And so, um, and so I don't like saying no, but today we walked in places, shout out to Kathy Romero, showing me, you know, she does Oprah Winfrey, all type. So I'm just alone for the ride. So I'm standing there, they picking the spots. I'm walking in looking like they shot the movie 300. All I'm looking at is how much is this going to cost? And so I'm sitting there and of course it's my, oh, what do you think of this? And I'm sitting there, I'm just like, yo, I gotta go on a run. Because if I'm gonna pull this type of party off for my loved one, for my favorite person on earth, man, this is serious. Cause you, it's just, Tariq ain't shit, man. Everybody around him. Oh. Man. And so you know what I said? Let's have some real talk. I'm going to give you some real talk right now, right? And so I'm thinking, right? I'm driving down. Uh, I don't want no more NFTs. If I get an NFT, it's because I really want to be a part of that NFT. You see Fat Doodle up there? He ain't going nowhere. He's a legend. I'm with the greedy goat. But just please, everybody and their mother, every guy in every corner... Who got a NFT, please? The watch is an NFT. Yo, hit makeup. This shit right here. This shit right here. We could land a mini helicopter on this. Bitch. Sheesh. And so, what I was talking about, right? All right, so this is what happened. So, I'm driving down to go get places for my daughter. My wife is on the side. And so the whole concept of men out there is they go out there, they provide for their family. Some women do their damn thing too. But when you're the man that provide for your family, it's a certain pride for you. There's going to be some real talk right here. There's a certain pride where you feel like, yo, I, I you know, I own this family. You know, I own this family. This you know, my pride is I do whatever. She owns me. I own her. You know, whatever. Right? So I get to thinking like, how about, this is real talk, Rich. How about when somebody dies? What about when the man dies? Because you, you never know when you're going to go. So you over here fighting your ass off for your family and you love them and it's one-on-one -on -one and this and this and that. This is very controversial I'm about to talk about. But I'm sitting in there, I don't know why, for some reason I'm on the mother highway and I'm looking like, what if somebody dies? How come every time a guy dies, their wife that they own, that they died for, they stressed for, they this? Finds another guy and everybody be like, yo, she really, uh, he would really want a guy like Todd. His wife, he would want, you know, he would really, oh, he's dead now. The guy who busts his ass thinking this is family when they introduce the new husband to you, uh, he really wanted her happy.
he would really want to have. I'm not with that. I'm not cool with that. So if it happened to me, don't come and be like, oh, he's so, it's a lie. It's a lie. And so I don't know. Uh, I have no clue about, I don't get it. And so I'm sitting there, I said, damn, man, all these guys I know came from nothing. They bust their ass, provide for their family. Oh, yo, don't talk to my woman. Don't look her like that. When you leave and you can't make a U-turn and they start saying, let her live her life, girl. He happy for her. Be happy. No, sir. You guys, huh, you guys are, uh, you guys might like that shit. That's not me. So if that happens to me, God forbid, don't say, oh, he's so happy. What's the guy? Aaron Hernandez, he died. Some say he killed himself. Some people say he committed so that his wife and his kid could get life insurance. Now his wife is alleged to be with one of his best friends and she says he would be happy that she's with Tommy or with Fredo. No, sir. No, sir. Vice versa. I don't know how happy you would be. My daughter was like, but you gotta understand people gotta be happy. I said, I looked at her, I said, I thought you was with me. I'm going down there to give you the party of the year. I'm busting my ass. I thought she was with me. So, oh, people got to be uh, happy. People, nah, man, f that. I'm not happy. I'm not happy. And so, where they get that from? Is that some new shit that when somebody die, they all in the Instagram like, go ahead, girl. Um, He would be happy for you. Um, We want you happy. I don't know where that shit come from. And they're lying. These people lying. No. And so it's a conversation. Just like they say, oh. You get a divorce. This is a whole different conversation. I'm just thinking about that now. But you get a divorce. You give her the house. You got another house. She got Tyrone in the crib after that. He ain't paying no mortgage. He just in your crib. I don't know how you feel about that. I just don't. I just don't um, know how that's, I don't know how that's cool. I don't know if I got rich. If I died and the renter comes a year from now where, um, uh, Jalil told my hey Rich, this is my man, this is in my crib that you see me bust my ass for and everything with everything I bought and all that. Would you honestly walk out of there like, oh, I'm happy for her, she's happy? No, you're gonna put the whole shit down. Both yeah, I'm a co sign. Nah, we don't really mean that the crib down, but no, I'm just I saying mean, I mean, they break up. You get a divorce. Now, you got to keep it a real dude. All right, here go my girl. Nef Matter of fact, let me hit up Nefertiti and see what she, is she with this. Come on if you want. Burn, mother. Burn. Nah, nah, nah. I don't burn. I won't say that. I, I don't want to hurt nobody or nothing like that. But, um, I've had to deal with that myself. Best friends passed. Then at a certain time, I didn't know how I feel with it. Personally, I was just like, I, right. but I know my man ain't happy about that. I, I, like, y'all can lie all y'all want. Y'all can lie all y'all want, but personally, I know he ain't happy about that. The thing is, you can't make a new turn. Once you're gone, you're gone. You can't come back to to talk to Mr. Abby, Mr. Avalanche. AKA the iceberg, not Snoopy, but the one that sunk the Titanic.
You know the shit with all the billionaires? That one, hey, yo, Nefertiti, I want to see your comment then, because... And you know, sometimes they hit me like I hit you and I ain't ready, I ain't looking beautiful. I was... So he said, when you go on the other side, you are one. You won't have Joe's perspective. You will have universal love. No, man, but what he's doing, he died. He dies, Nefertiti. And then what, he gotta watch you? Imagine, imagine if when somebody dies, they can still see their family. Just imagine. Somebody passed, he can still see his family. You really think that a man that loves his family that went all out, he, he wants to see that? I mean, I don't know what the- There's a time limit. You just gotta be right. Is it a time limit? Yeah, Is it like, yo, life, life goes, goes on? on? Life goes on. Life goes on. If your mother was young, and your father died, Tom Peek, you think your mom would have been with another dude? My mom? I, not after a year, but eventually, I think oh, so. Oh, you think so? You're a piece of shit. I'm not a piece of shit. I'm being, I'm piece being of shit. realistic. You're being realistic. Yeah, you asked me a question. So we don't really, we don't really own our families. You don't, you don't. You're lying to yourself. What do I want to be, miserable? Damn it! He said, Bobby said three years at least.